on September 19th, 2015, my oldest son, Adam, passed away. Jean Moser's son, Adam, died from a fentanyl overdose. She says he took pills he found in their home. That made us think, well, how can we prevent this? How can we help other people not go down this terrible path? So she and her husband Jim started the Zero Left campaign aimed at finding ways to safely dispose of narcotics. They were instrumental in getting some hospitals to put drop-off boxes in their lobbies and now give these pouches to patients post-surgery. Inside, there's a little ball of carbon, and by adding water, any leftover pills are destroyed. We advocate to everyone and to anyone to have the conversation with your children, to elderly patients, to anyone in your life. Kay Scarpone knows how important those conversations can be. Her son died of a heroin overdose in 2015 after serving in the military. I didn't know anyone that lost a child, so I didn't know what to do with myself, and I just kept it in. Until someone from Massachusetts stepped into her life. One day I was fortunate enough to meet a woman who started um, an organization called Team Sharing, and it was a private Facebook group for other mothers, moms and dads to get together and talk about their grief and support each other. Kay has now started the group in New Hampshire. Always helps to see a new mom who looks at you in the eye and says, I don't know what I would do if I didn't find this group. And that's, that's the best part, is knowing that you're helping someone. Mary DeMarco is part of Team Sharing. She also started her own grief support group in 2016 called Alicia's Angels in honor of her daughter, who died of a fentanyl overdose in 2014. None of us want to be where we are, but we all support one another and we're there for each other. Mary has also taken a course to become a recovery coach and attends meetings with other organizations. What's on the table, you know, as far as what's being passed in regards to any type of drug issues, what, what can be, you know, bumped up as far as resources or laws. These mothers say they'll continue fighting to keep other parents from losing their children. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.